So there are so many methods to intermittent fasting and you might find yourself asking the question, what do they mean? How do I do them? Which one is right for me? That's what we're going over in today's video. So stick around so you can find out. Hey, my name is James Johnson and welcome to the Benefiters channel where we talk about health, wellness, overall, anything that we think you can benefit from. And today we're going over some of the methods of intermittent fasting. So you know what's out there and you can pick out which method is best for you. So we're going to start it off with one of the more popular options, which is the 16 to 8. What that means is 16 hours every day, you're going to be in a fasted state. Now, if you're new here, before you freak out, eight of them are normally while you are sleeping. So once you finish your 16 hour fast, you're gonna have an eight hour eating window. And this is the method that I actually choose. So 10 p.m. at night, I start my fast and then I don't eat until 2 p.m. the next day. There's more uh, options you can use with this like the 18 to six or the 20 to four. Same principles, fast for the longer time period, eat during the shorter time period. So 10 p.m. to 2 p.m. is what works best for me, but you get to choose your own schedule if you choose to do this method. I also think it's one of the more sustainable methods long term, so I wanted to start with it first. Next on the list is alternate day fasting. This one might sound pretty self-explanatory, and it also might be on the more experienced side. So your first 24 hours, you are able to eat, and then the next 24 hours, you have to fast, and then you just go and switch back and forth. Therefore, alternate day fasting. Some might say you can have up to a certain amount of calories on your fasting day, but then it kind of gets confusing for some and we get into what's called a dirty fast, which technically I do with 16 to eight. Now, I don't think alternate day fasting is a long-term sustainable choice for me personally, but for you, it could be the right decision and be just what you're looking for. All right, question of the day. What is your main struggle so far with intermittent fasting? Let's connect in the comments and see if the benefiters can help each other out. Some people with a restrictive work schedule don't find 16 to eight is easy, be it from the time they have to eat lunch at work, time they go to work, time they get off work, other live stuff happening on top of that. So for busy people, the best option might be OMAD. And if you thought alternate day fasting was self-explanatory, wait until you hear what this one means. OMAD stands for one meal a day. Thanks for stopping by. Okay, so one meal a day, simple, right? Yes and no. Yes, because you only have to plan for one meal a day and this saves time for other things. And also the longer fast can be more beneficial. No, because sometimes people don't eat enough food when they do one meal a day. And also some don't like to exercise when fasted. So you're gonna have to plan for the right time for that as well. If you need help on your IF journey, look into our 30 day challenge and grab your free intermittent fasting guide with 14 of the most common mistakes and how you can avoid them so you start off on the right track. So when you first start intermittent fasting, one of the biggest mistakes is choosing the wrong routine. To be sure you don't do this, go check out my video on three mistakes beginners make when intermittent fasting. My name is James Johnson, we are the benefiters and we will see you in the next one.